Today we're going to be looking at the Aether Blade in Modern Warfare Zombies. This thing is freaking awesome guys and probably one of the best weapons that you can use in the game. After we take a quick look at this thing and what it can do, I'm going to show you guys how you can farm the acquisitions for this thing completely solo and then tell you what you got to do to get the schematics. So it's honestly crazy how powerful this thing is just for a throwing knife. Not only will it ricochet through zombies, but it also does the same thing to the mercenaries, making clearing out the camps to the strongholds honestly a breeze. Oh, and it also takes out the riot shield guys, so no more worrying about them either. It's got zero problem ripping through through zombies in the red tier zone and also it does some pretty decent damage against the mega abomination too now i'm going to tell you guys how you can farm the case for this thing but first of all i appreciate everybody stopping on by the video today if you guys do enjoy it or it does help you out please do consider dropping me a like it really does help out the video and push it into the algorithm and also if you guys are new to the channel if you enjoy zombies content or anything call of duty i try to stay up to date as much as possible instead of rocking that subscribe button man it would mean the world to me so in order to get this case assuming you guys have already gotten the four pieces and have opened the dark ether at least once this will enable you to start farming the sigils from the red tier zone contracts once you get yourself a sigil i would advise you guys to start a new game with a character that has all of the upgrades as in a three plate vest definitely a large rucksack trust me you're gonna need the space now you will have the entire match to get geared up and ready and i would advise you guys to do some of the quickest contracts possible i did a lot of cargos and a lot of weapon raid stash when you're solo and doing these contracts the game is going to be constantly feeding you self revives which is definitely a good thing because you're going to want to be storing as many of these things as possible. Also be sure to have decoys and throwing knives equipped. Those are going to help you out a lot. As long as you have the majority of your perks and your weapon is at least at a rarity of epic and packed punch to tier 3, don't think you'll have too much of a problem with this. So head on down to the Dark Aether Rift and place your sigil in it. You'll notice that if you are solo, even if you didn't have a friendly hellhound, you're going to have one now. And this guy's pretty tough, so if you go down kind of early while being in here, don't waste one of your self revives. So when you spawn into the Dark Aether, make your way to the left until you get to this building. It's going to be a ladder on the opposite side of it and on the roof there's going to be a Mr. Peak sitting on the edge. Once you activate him he's going to start an Aether Extract contract. Now I haven't found out the exact perfect way to get to each one of these but I have a couple tips and tricks that I can give you guys. For the first one that's up on the wall that's closest to you to the fortress honestly just run up to the very first zip line that's right in front of you and take that up to it. And the second one which is honestly the hardest one for me to find is directly in the middle of the fortress and what you're going to have to do is go all the way to the very top keep in mind i would try to save one decoy for each extractor or you could also save your field upgrade to use on the last one which i didn't do here but when you're at this second extractor climb to the very top of the fortress and just jump down to the last one hopefully by jumping off the top of the fortress you won't have a bunch of zombies spawned in yet around this thing it should make getting that last one done really easy when you complete this contract it will give you the ether blade case every single time but it also does have the chance of dropping you an elder sigil Using these on the opposite side of the rift is going to essentially open up a portal to take you into tier 5 of the Dark Aether, which that is how you're going to be unlocking the new schematics. So if you've looted everything you want and you're finally ready to extract from the Dark Aether, make your way into the bottom of the fortress and there's going to be a portal where you can leave. Don't worry if your game does kind of glitch out and you kind of remain in here, you can just hit leave game. Your operator is going to keep absolutely everything that he's got on him and everything that's in the backpack. If you really want the schematics for this thing, I would advise you guys to try to rally up a team and then even going in and trying to rally up a bunch of randoms so you guys can at least try to get a six-man squad because that is tough that's gonna be about it guys happy farming i appreciate all the support lately thank you guys so much i'll catch you in the next one